I look, man, believe it or not, casual sex has the power to absolutely corrupt your soul. Yes, sir, let me say that again. Casual sex has the power to absolutely corrupt your soul. Because regardless of what you want to think about when it comes to the process of sex, the whole concept of sexual union, it goes much deeper than just physical pleasure. It goes much deeper than just sensory experiences, but it's actually a much deeper and much more underlying experience on the metaphysical plane of reality that's going on behind the scenes. So without further ado, let me break this bitch down real quick like a motherfucking brick for y'all. So the reason you need to understand why casual sex can be a deterrent for your spiritual evolution is due to the fact that there is something called sexual karma as well as soul ties. Sexual karma and soul ties. This is what is being accumulated every time you go clap some cheeks, every time you go get in that box, every time you go do your business. Whether you're married or whether you're trying to be a playboy, trying to be a fuckboy out here in the field, in the flesh, trying to get all the bodies that you want, you are doing a much deeper deed than you might be thinking. And this goes down to the fact, again, each time that you interact with the world, whether that be monetarily wise, whether that be speaking wise, whether that be sexual wise, it's an energetic exchange. And it's an exchange of, here's, here's my money, I get the value back. Here's my uh, expression, you sit there, you listen, and then it's your time to go out and express your thoughts. Inhale, exhale. Night, day, it's an exchange, it's an ongoing cycle. And the same thing happens on a sexual level every time you go into unification with somebody. And it doesn't have to even be an actual body, it could be the fucking pixels on your screen. So for the guys out there like, hey man, I'm not out here banging women, but I'm out here being my meat. This ain't, this has nothing to do with me, no. Your body, your mind still thinks that you're actually in union with that woman that you're watching on the screen. Your mind will not know the difference and it still makes a psychic bond, an astral bond with that person, that actor, whatever the fuck you wanna call these degenerate people on the screen. Same thing happens in person. You're gonna build up a psychic and astral bond. And what do I mean by that, a psychic and astral bond? Every time you go to sleep, you go to what's called the astral realm. You can call it woo-woo, you can call it wah-wah, that's just what it is, man. The astral realm. Beyond our waking consciousness. Beyond our deep sleep consciousness. You know when you go to sleep and you're in a state of deep sleep, where you can wake up and be like, man, I didn't have a dream. It was just all dark, it was just all black. That's deep sleep. There's another state of consciousness, which is the dream state, aka the astral realm. Realm. And within the astral realm, you yourself have an astral body. All the karma that you accumulate is surrounding that subtle, etheric, and astral body. And what this does, every time you go into union with somebody else, you take on their energy and you take on their karmic just debts on over to your astral body, your psychic realm your overall beingness on a more metaphysical level. And funny enough, all of those people that this person has been with, all their karma and stuff like that is shared with them, so it goes on to you. Are you picking up what the fuck I'm putting down? All that energy, all the baggage, all the emotional nonsense and trauma that people keep stuck with themselves and they find coping mechanisms, whether that be sex, whether that be drugs, whether that be alcohol, whether that be food, whether that be whatever it is. All that stuff gets transferred on over to you and your karmic just body, your astral body, your psychic senses. So it's no wonder why you go out and just overall get, get busy with these random women who are just thoughts, who have daddy issues. You just get into a bunch of bullshit. Bad luck starts to happen. Just overall, 
things just come out of nowhere within your life. You have to deal with their nagging. You have to deal with this type of shit. Their baby, baby daddy, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? They're ex-boyfriends. Not just on a physical level, but now on the psychic level and on the astral realm. This is, this is just all going to accumulate within your life. And it's going to block you from your true essence. Think of this for example. You have a nice, crispy, white tea. White tea. Just straight out of the bag, straight out of the box, straight out of the, the, the cleaner, whatever you want to call it. Fresh. It's radiant. It's got an aura to it. And then you dunk it into some dirty water, some dirt. That's your karma. And you dunk it into some, some other dirty water and dirt. That's the other person's karma. Then, you, then that person has another layer of dirt and dirty water that you dunk it into because it's all the other karmas of the other people that she's dealt with. How are you going to get to that white, pure essence of yourself? when you have to deal with all that bullshit. It's just adding on more layers and more bullshit. And I'm telling you, never to have sex in your life, never to have kids, never to have a wife. No, you should be so aware and so understanding of who this person is that you're actually getting to union with, that you're okay with quote unquote sharing their karma. It's that pure, it's on your level. You understand that it could be actually helping you on your journey instead of just doing it for physical release for sensory experiences. That's what an animal does. That's what, that's what your lower instincts are pulling you towards. But if you want to ascend to your highest self, your higher planes of consciousness, your higher states of existence, you need to burn off and dissolve the karmas that are acting as anchors and dead weight from actually you being able to tap in to your true essence. You'll never know who you are on a deeper essence, on a deeper nature. You never know who, what you were brought here to do on a deeper nature, on a deeper essence. You won't even know what this reality is on a deeper nature, on a deeper essence, if you just continue to accumulate karma and karma and karma and karma. Imagine you're driving on the road and it's pouring rain. It's snowing, whatever the fuck and you don't got no windshields. That's how majority of people in life are living. NPCs, bots, autopilot mode. They're just following the next car in front of them because they can't see, they don't understand what it is and where it is that they're going. Their vision is clouded. And why is their vision clouded? Because they have all these karmas that they're dealing with. They have all these soul ties that they're dealing with. They have all this sexual karma that they're dealing with. This is some real deal stuff that you need to understand as a man because look, I'm just being honest with you. I live in the United States. The types of women that are promiscuous and stuff are more popular and the more majority here. Could be where you're living at too. Is this something bad, evil? No, it's just something you gotta understand. Do you want to deal with that stuff? Do you want a soul tie with that person? And you might be thinking, oh man, it's a pump and dump. This ain't fucking crypto, bro. This ain't Dogecoin. We ain't pumping and dumping people on a spiritual level. You will stick, that their energy, their karma will stick to you like glue. If you put yourself in those positions where you, uni, you, you actually unify yourself with that person's energy, vibration, and frequency they emit. S-E-X, sacred energy exchange. You're getting your energy up and taking a little bit of theirs. The people that are quote unquote still virgins and celibates, you have to understand that you are 100% yourself. If you're, if you're wanking into pixels on the screen, guess what? The same kind of whole idea goes that you're literally doing an exchange on a more demonic level because these people, there's no actual entity there. You're literally getting exchange pixels and data and frequency like that. You're, getting, you're making love to AI, to technology. And guess what? That's a psychic bond that it creates. That's a soul tie it creates. On a hallucinatory level, you think that you got with that person. You think that you are in union with that person that you saw on the screen, that you're lusting over. 
the mind will just do whatever you give it, man. The mind will either feed into your lower nature due to the body being in control over you, or it can feed into your higher nature because the spirit, the soul is the one in control. I always talk about this, man. The car, the vehicle that you use on this three, uh, 3D experience is the body. The steering wheel is the mind, but the soul and the spirit is the one that needs to be driving. However, due to the programming of society, that soul, that spirit has been handcuffed, duct tape shut on his mouth, thrown in the trunk, and guess what? Whatever society has programmed you to do is going to be the one using the steering wheel and driving your car around. It's going to drive you to attaching this soul tie. Guess what the soul tie is? A slash on your tire. Another karmic bond. Another slash on your tire. Oh man, the engine fluid's leaking. Another soul tie. Now, all this stuff is making you slower, making it harder for you to progress on your actual path in life, where you're really supposed to go, where that car is really supposed to be headed towards, where that steering wheel is really supposed to be directed at, and where your soul is really meant to actually pursue, it's gonna make it more difficult to do that. That's why I'm saying casual sex will corrupt your soul, man. And this gets very deep and very in detail, man. Very deep and in detail. And for the people out there that are understanding these concepts, man, that are, it's actually clicking for them, I'm telling you, stuff I'm talking about right here on this channel is surface level. And it's deeper than what most people are talking about just on a day-to-day -day basis. If you do want more understanding about soul ties, sexual karma, and all that stuff, there's actually a video in the private Patreon community. Shout out to the fucking private Patreon community. That's all about this stuff, man. Again, if you are interested in these types of topics, actually interested in becoming the best version of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually, then you are truly doing yourself a disfavor. Yes, you're doing yourself a disfavor by not joining up in the private Patreon community because within there, you get access to exclusive content of me breaking out ancient texts that correlate to these topics because you see me right now, I'm doing it off the dome ski. I'm doing it off the rip. I'm freestyling out here in the field, in the flesh. When I get some time to actually sit down and research and go into the ancient wisdom, ancient texts to break it down for you guys on a much more deeper level, that's for the Patreon. That's where you get the real game, the real spill, and the real sauce. But also with that, you'll be able to get uh, full guides, in-depth occult lectures, and most importantly, if you join up into the Philosopher's Circle, aka the highest membership tier within the private Patreon community, you'll get access to our private group chat, as well as our monthly masterminds where we're doing two live calls, yes sir, two live calls every single month where you hop on a call with me and everybody within the private group chat, a community of like-minded men who are also on the same path. We're also thinking on the same wavelength. We're also on the same frequency as you are to become self-mastered and actually realize who they, walk, who they are and what they were really brought here to accomplish. So if you're interested in stuff like that, man, check out the links posted in the pinned comment of this video because within the pinned comment, you'll also be able to find links to our other services, whether that be um, application forms for personalized coaching, whether that be booking links for one-on-one -on -one consultation calls, free community Discord server, weekly wheel free weekly newsletters, all that good stuff, man, pin comment of this video. But like I was saying, man, if you truly want to understand the deeper aspects of this stuff, you gotta understand that the ancients already knew this. You have to dive back into the past and understand how you can actually get yourself out of all this karmic entanglement, all these attachments. This is what keeps you stuck in your lower frequencies and these lower states of being. And what eventually keeps you stuck on the cycle of samsara, the cycle of reincarnation because you're not truly transcending above and beyond the material plane of existence. You are still trapped like an animal to your urges. Sexuality is one of the most powerful urges that they're pulling you towards. Why do you think everything's being so overly sexualized and promiscuous? Why do you think it's been kind of shared to people that it's more masculine and alpha to have 100 girls under your belt, 100 bodies under your belt? When in reality, in the past, the great minds of the world, the great philosophers of the world, the spiritual leaders of the world, the greatest innovators, knew the importance of things like sexual control, not just strict celibacy. Some of them did do that because they were so focused on their main mission and their main target. And in this incarnation, they were not even considering 
delving into their animalistic nature. I'm not telling you that you are like that. People like Nikola Tesla, Isaac Newton, the people that made big shifts and big movements and big new innovations within the human evolution, what do you think they were thinking about? Sexuality and all that stuff? No, they were thinking on their higher aspirations and higher pursuits. They might have not known on a deeper level. I think Nikola Tesla knew on a deeper level because he worked with guys like Swami Vivekananda, talked to them. And these people are some of the guys I talk about within the um, private Patreon community video about sexual karma and soul ties, who broke it down on a very depth in detail level, talking about how all these aspects of energetic exchanges can cause almost like obstacles in the river of life towards your true purpose. So maybe Nikola Tesla did know this stuff. Maybe Isaac Newton did know this stuff. Again, these guys are all initiated into the occult and esoteric knowledge, which is the underlying factor of true success in life. You understand yourself, self-mastery, everything else will fall into line. As above, so below. As within, so without. Man is a microcosm of the macrocosm, aka the universe. You understand how to deal with this, this physical body, this, this psychic mind? and your, your true essence and soul, everything else will fall into order. Yet you can't truly realize that if you're out here hooking up with random chicks after random chick after random chick, and I'm telling you, man, from experience, this is just gonna get you further and further away from your true essence, your true nature. I've been on both sides of the coin, and I'm telling you right now, the true bliss and the true joy that you feel on this path of retention and on this path of actually preserving your sexual energy for your own evolution and maybe later on for the true love of your life and the true mother of your children is far greater than the little pump and dump crypto coins that you do with these little thoughts out here. I'm telling you because, because from experience on both sides of the coin, this is just temporary emotions and feelings while on this side, it's eternal bliss and joy, a state of being. Joy is a state of being well, dopamine, happiness, and all that stuff is just temporary spikes of emotions. This is like serotonin, and this is dopamine. They're just, you can't compare the two. You, you probably, if you've had psychedelics before, you understand the effects of serotonin, the euphoria, the bliss that you walk around life with. Imagine you are doing that yourself through these practices of semen retention, of spiritual sadhanas, all the good stuff and actually breaking these soul ties. Because within the actual video I talk about within the private Patreon community, when you practice retention and all that stuff like that, you create tapas. When you fast, when you do other austerity practices, and I don't want to bring out big words and be like, what the fuck is austerity? Austerity practices, living a holy life, living a more holistic life, and actual do the practices that will give you nurturing to your mind, body, and soul, rather than things that are gonna deter you from actually becoming the best version of yourself. When you do those, when you do those practices, you create tapas, a heat, a metaphysical heat that burns away karmas, that burns away the, the dead weight, that burns away those lines, those anchors that are pulling you down towards your lower self. And this is how you transcend above and beyond what you are living in right now. And you start tapping into the magic of life. Casual sex just corrupts that, man. The matrix, the mind, the illusion, whatever you want to call it, doesn't want you to experience the true magic of life. It doesn't want you to truly be a master of the self. It wants you to be a slave to the senses, and it's going to use all these tools and different things around you for you to be able to just fall into that trap, that trick. But you have the ability to look past it. And if you're somebody who's watching this channel, who's watching the main channel, who's tapped into the private Patreon community, who might be doing personalized coaching with me, booking one-on-one -on -one consultations. You guys, I like to say, are more mature on your psychic and spiritual development. You were blessed by God, you were blessed maybe in past lives to actually be incarnated within this time being to be able to actually take this type of information and actually grasp the concepts I'm trying to break down for you guys and actually plug it into your life. A lot of people, not only will they never click on a video like this, they'll never be able to actually pay attention for this long with no cuts, with no edits and all that stuff. And most importantly, you'll never be able to actually grasp the deeper, denser topics. And maybe they will in the next life, maybe they never will, who knows. But you, you need to take this information and actually apply it into your life. How do you apply it into your life? When you practice retention, you're gonna build up one of the most, the biggest benefits of it, which I'll be breaking down, is the power of discernment. You'll be able to see who and what is actually good for you and your path. 
Is hanging around with these types of people good for your path? Is, is watching this type of content good for your path? Is talking to this woman good for your path? You'll know deep down. I don't know for you, I don't know what your path is. Again, this whole brand, this whole message, all the things I kind of preach to you guys is again, tools for you to uncover the answers that are already in within yourself. I'm not here to tell you how, what to do, how to do it and all that stuff. I'm here to tell you that you already know what it is. Here's some tools to get you to that point and actually take that white tea that was fucked up with all this garbage, put it into the washing machine, put some Mr. Clean, OxyClean, whatever you wanna call it, tumble that in the washing machine and come out sparkling, shining. That is your inner self, the inner guide, the higher self going to actually tell you what it is that you need to do. These, these things, these practices, semen retention, spiritual practices, psychological development, physical development that we talk about here on the main channel, private Patreon community, all that good stuff is tools to get you to that point. They're not the end goals themselves. Remember that. And when you're doing those tools again, you're actually putting them into play. You're going to generate those tapas, the, that heat that dissolves the karmas, that dissolves all these things. So you can actually see, you're actually putting on windshield wipers to your car. You'll be able to actually uncloud your vision, what it is that who you are, what you're about here to do, and then that's the path to true success in life and fulfillment. All this nonsense that the society is trying to push you towards is just going to further drag you down the wrong path, man. And it's sad to see all these big influencers, alpha guys and all that stuff just preach it to the world, man. They might be saying one thing, but they act in another way. They're all slaves to the senses. The true alpha man, there's no such thing as a true alpha man. The true superior man, the way of the superior man, that book is overrated, I always talk about it, but the true superior man is the divine masculine man that you'll be able to read about in the story of Jesus Christ. You'll be able to read about within the story of Siddhartha Gautama, that you'll be able to read about within the story of Krishna, all these people that were sages, mystics, monks, and all that stuff, actual self-realized men. Of course, you don't have to be a sage, a mystic, a monk to be self-realized, but you'll take these ancient pieces of wisdom and apply it into the practical life right now in the modern day world. So you as a modern day man can actually become self-mastered. If you cannot grasp this concept that sexual, uh, casual sex will corrupt your soul, I'm telling you, man, from experience, you're just going further and further and further and further away from the divine light, the divine spark that's within you. And again, is sex bad? No, there's a reason and a place and a time to actually have sexual union with the right person. It isn't a good idea to just spill your seed and connect your energy and cause all these karmic entanglements with people that you don't really care about and that you don't really know, just to bust a nut just to give yourself a little bit of pleasure. And looking back on stuff like that, man, it's just like, dude, even animals don't really do this. Even animals don't really do this. We just have the free will and we have the, the, uh, the overall external influences that just push us towards just complete degeneracy, man. Complete degeneracy. You're using someone else's body to masturbate. You're using you're watching somebody else get plowed on and you're wanking your chicken to that. Come on, man. Come on, I'm talking to myself, my younger self too right now. I'm not trying to berate anybody or anything like that. I'm telling you, man, you have much more potential in life and these things are holding you back from it. And in my opinion, as a man, this is the number one thing holding you back. You are a slave to your senses. Lust has got you in a chokehold the society is just gonna give you more, more just overall temptations to fall into that state of mind. But when you understand this and you understand the deeper levels of it, how you're creating soul ties, creating a a psychic bonds in the astral realm, you understand why you need to get out of that. For the people out there that have had that playboy type of lifestyle, have you ever dreamed of those women that you were with before? They just randomly show up in your dreams. It's happened to me plenty of times, plenty of times. And as I go on this practice of retention, it slowly but surely gets less, less and less and less. But man, in the beginning, 
You see, you just every dream, lucid dream, every dream, that thing is replaying. Guess what? That's the astral realm. Those are those psychic bonds coming to play. I've karmically entangled my energy with that person for L, for life. Unless I actually burn away those chains, those anchors through these practices, through these austerities. Whatever the, the energy that they built up and connected with me, that's sticking with me. Like some glue. And that's just gonna make me slower, make me get pulled back into my old ways and unable to actually get down to my true purpose and my true just overall dharmic duty in life, my spiritual mission, what I was really brought here to do. It's just pulling me away from that because I'm seeking externally for joy when in reality, all there is on the external world is just temporary pleasures. I need to redirect my attention, energy and focus internally because that's where joy really resides. That's where divine bliss really resides. That's where true fulfillment really resides. That euphoria I want is right here. It's not externally. There's a bunch of pleasure out there, but once you taste divine bliss, euphoria, and true fulfillment, and actual joy in life, it's like going from five-star restaurant on over to McDonald's. McDonald's is always there, and they'll give you a cheap little high, cheap little dopamine because they put all this bullshit, but it's gonna make you feel worse afterwards. A lot of pleasure makes you feel worse afterwards, but joy, true joy, five-star meal, that's truly nutritious, not only does it taste better in the moment, but the effects and the actual benefits last longer. Casual sex don't ever get you that, man. And it's just gonna come with all that baggage. And it come, if you wanna bring the analogy of McDonald's, it's gonna come with all those seed oils, all that sugar, all that processed junk that your body, it sticks within your body and your body gets fat. And then you have to burn off the fat like the same way of you're burning off those karmic bonds, those psychic bonds those astral kind of entanglements. You gotta burn away the fat, like you, the same way you gotta burn away all these different types of soul ties that you create in order for you to truly be fit physically as well as be fit on a spiritual essence. Some real deal stuff here, man. And a lot of people will not talk about this. A lot of people will not make it actually prevalent within the uh, modern day world because it's, it's more popular to be promiscuous. It's what social media is telling everyone to do. How to get good ribs, how to look max, this and that. I'm not telling you not to be charismatic and be able to talk to the beautiful woman around you. I'm not telling you to not look good. I'm not telling you to do that, but what I'm telling you is if you're doing all these things to be able to get sensory pleasure that animals can get, that anybody can get, that means your pursuits are no bigger than, no better than an animal. You're living in the th three lower worlds, the three lower places of ex existence, and the three lower states of consciousness, AKA survival, sex, status. If an animal like my dog right here gets to that point and accomplishes all those three boxes, checks off all those three boxes, it's kind of living at its peak pinnacle of life. NPCs, all these people out here, what society is telling you to do is making you stay in that little bubble of what life truly has to offer. But there's so much more to that. When you tap into the heart, when you tap into the throat chakra, when you tap into the Ajna chakra, when you tap into the crown chakra, living in a divine state of bliss, that's, that's, a, that's a pinnacle of a human experience, not an animal experience. They can't get to that point. Their highest is your lowest. Yet your lowest is what you guys have been, I'm not saying you guys is in you, but what society has been kind of telling you is the pinnacle. They want you as animals and slaves to be able to pull you around, tell you do this job, tell you to do this, go to this school, tell you that you gotta pay this amount of money to live in this place, this, that, all that stuff is for them to keep this machine moving, keep this thing running. And one of the biggest ways they've held men by the balls, by the motherfucking balls, is through casual sex being a pinnacle peak experience of life. It ain't that special, man. 
for the people out there who have had that little phase in their life, tell them down below. Tell all these younger generation of kids down below. It ain't that fucking special. I'm just letting you right now. When, you, when you're a man and you're truly on a mission and you're actually seeing a vision that's given by God, you're becoming a divine vessel for God by mastering the mind, mastering the body in order to awaken the soul, in order for you to actually be purified from within so God, the universe, can use you to actually bring that vision out into the physical world. That's the most orgasmic feeling you can feel. And guess what? It's your daily 24-7 state of existence. It ain't some short little dopamine high you get from the external world by banging a girl, by watching porn, by eating this junk food. No. It's something that's literally cultivated from within and it emits to everything around you. It becomes radiant and you become that beacon of light for others to actually realize that, hey man, there's far more to this life than just chasing external temporary pleasures. There's another state of existence that I can experience on this human uh, overall form if I actually put my mind towards it wherever energy wherever attention goes energy flows where are you putting your attention towards the lower levels survival sex and status or to true higher aspirations in life casual sex will only pull you down to the lower man and the more you involve in it the deeper it's gonna pull you down into that box and deeper it's gonna pull you down to that hole through these soul ties, these karmic bonds, these astral entanglements that you're gonna create for yourself. Again, man, this is all off the dome, but if you want the true game, the true sauce, when it comes to this topic, check out the links posted in the pinned comment of this video, because again, this is, this is just surface level for what we really truly discuss in the private Patreon community, within my personalized coaching, within one-on-one -on -one consultations, and man, this is just a surface level. I'm just trying to break it down as best I can off the dome ski, off the rip, freestyling it. But I'm telling you, man, I could be going on for hours and hours about this stuff because, again, sex is not evil. Sex is not bad. People are always commenting on these videos like, guys, it's not that big a deal. It's not that big a deal, but it is a big deal at the same time. If you consciously have the discernment of who you want to entangle your energy with, who you would like to exchange your energy with, then yes, it's not a big deal because you are consciously aware of that. Is this going to be the mother, mother of your children? Is this going to be your true partner in your life? Someone that's actually going to help your spiritual evolution? Or are you just doing it to bust a nut? Because the, the, the payment that you have to give, the exchanges you have to give for busting that nut is far much more, it's far deeper than you might think. It's not like, oh, I have to take this girl out, buy her food, this and that, then I'll get the nut. No, you are doing all that on the physical realm, but you are taking back a lot of baggage at the same time. Do you want that? I don't think you do. If you watch this far into the video, I don't think you do. And trust me, I've been there, done that. I don't, I'm telling you, you don't want to do it. I'm telling you straight up, you don't want to do it. Is you, are you going to die? Is it this? No, it's not. But it just clouds your vision and just makes you live in a weird limbo state, man. Like, why the fuck did I even do that? I've been in a position where I'm like, man, why the fuck did I even do that? Like, this, I just literally masturbated with someone's body. Like, what? What, what was that? And even when you watch porn and stuff, like, you're like, what the fuck am I doing? There's a reason why deep down you feel like it's a feeling of shame and guilt that's a very low frequency and low energy vibration they want you to keep they want society wants to keep you in that state so you can truly express and experience the higher realms and the higher aspects and higher frequencies why do you think all these sages mystics and monks are like the most blissful men that walk on this earth they don't care about money they don't care about cars they don't care about clothes they don't care about hoes yet all those other people the alpha men out there the red pill andrew tate these guys you know what i mean they're they're going to jail they're doing this fuck shit they're they're crashing out on live live streams but they got all the material stuff because all that stuff is just temporary you're always going to be chasing for the next side the next side the next side the next side and when you do that you cause entanglements each and every step along the way when you reverse that order and you bring the energy back towards yourself internally each step you're breaking off the attachments 
breaking off the attachments, breaking off the anchors, breaking off the, the dead weight holding you back. And you get closer and closer to your true essence and your true state of existence, which comes with joy and true bliss that these men are walking around their life with, the true sages, the mystics, the monks, the self-realized men on a day-to-day -day basis. That's the true pinnacle of life. That's what it means to be a divine masculine man. Not this alpha pill bullshit telling you to just go, oh man, I need to have a crazy sex life. I need to have a rotation of people. Spinning plates. Bro, I'm telling you, it's bullshit. For other people, it might be cool. For the other NPC bots, it might be cool. You cannot watch this video for this long and actually think that that's an actual good idea in life. You're on a different maturation level than the rest of the masses. And we need more divinely, con divinely conscious masculine men out here to help shift us from the Kali Yuga, aka the time period that we're in right now where carnality is high, spirituality is low, on over to the golden ages where spirituality reigns supreme and carnality is kept to a bare minimum. Is carnality bad? Is it evil? No. Is spirituality good and just all light? No. But if you want to progress in life on a spiritual essence, we need to be in that more spiritual state of mind, higher state of frequency, higher states of consciousness. And all this stuff they put out for you are just different tools to be able to bring you back down into your lower existence. But all the tools that we talk about here are ways that you can bring you back up to your higher state of existence. So at the end of the day, man, it's all up to you. Casual sex and all that stuff might be enticing at the moment. Maybe you think that it's going to fulfill you in life. But I'm telling you, it's temporary, illusionary feelings of emotions that are only access externally, so that means you'll never actually be able to feel that state of uh, euphoria and bliss that actually resides with you throughout your life. Anything external is temporary, it's illusion, it's impermanent. Am I telling you to never eat food, to never get money and all that stuff? No, but when you make that the pinnacle, you're never gonna be truly fulfilled in life. Use those as tools to truly access your, your internal joy, your internal energy, your internal bliss that can only be unlocked if you travel through yourself internally on the path of self-mastery, which will lead you to the state of self-realization of who you are on a deeper essence, what you're about here to accomplish, and what is the next stage of your evolution that you're going to be heading towards. But there it is, man. Casual sex will corrupt your soul will corrupt this whole path and deter you from actually becoming the best version of yourself mentally, physically, and spiritually. Again, it might be enticing in the moment, but think about later on down the line. Delayed gratification rather than instant gratification. Don't be reactive and be impulsionary like an animal. Use your logic, use your consciousness as a divine masculine man who's on this journey towards actually becoming a divine vessel for God and actually producing the greatest impact and value the world needs him to do. But there it is, bro. It's been your boy out here in the field, in the flesh, dropping you out that game so you guys can make these gains. And I'm out of here. Peace.